Welcome to Star Stir Fry. Stir Fry here. Today we got another Batman Black and White. Go figure. This time it's by Amanda Connor. Now, um, there's the Batman and there's also a Harley Quinn. So we will be doing Harley Quinn later. But for now we're gonna start with Batman. It's kind of an interesting box here. There's a new slant here, a new little flashy little symbol up there. It looks pretty cool. Um, pretty simple box. Just shows that in the back. Shows the John Romita Jr. and which I might, I don't know, I might get it. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a new design, nothing special on the bottom. <sighs> Before we open that up, let's take one last sip out of the Weekend Watchmen mug. Zip. Mm. This mug's getting worn out. Let's switch it out. Alright, so let's open her up. Let's skip all the uh, mumbo jumbo. Now, Let's see. I said I was gonna get, you know, stop collecting these as much. I think. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But I'm a big liar. I lie constantly. I'm full of it. I'm full of it. I have a major problem. Okay. Amanda Connor. Let's see what it's all about. Separate from the base. Here we got uh, 897 of 5000. I wonder if you can see that. There it is. A little, a little dusty. He's not broken though. Looks like he's he's nice and solid. I like this Batman because he seemed like he was kind of tall, and I liked he had like a, a semi-classic suit, I like the cape. I like what I saw from it, which I didn't really get a good view of the back though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to take this one back. Look at this. Can you see that? What a crappy, uh, the horrible paint. It's gonna have to go back. That stinks. Uh, it's pretty sloppy. This is some pretty sloppy work. I like the sculpt so far, but it's very, very sloppy. There he goes. He's on the base. All right. Not much to it. We'll check it out. We'll get some close-ups here. Here's the Batman Black and White statue by Amanda Connor. Um, looking pretty decent. The design, anyway. The, the design of it's pretty cool. I actually like how it's simple, and he's actually quite tall for a, uh, a Batman Black and White figure. Probably around the same height as the... Uh, uh, Jason Flabach, pretty close. So he's a good size, but man, there is some serious pain issues. But I gotta say, let's just talk about the design of the suit, because uh, I just think it's really cool and simple. Kind of reminds me of maybe a little bit of, I think his name is Alec McGinnis, I believe. Not as bulky, but like just the design of the, uh, the cow. Just kind of reminds me of that. And there's a nice, uh, pretty nice little uh, finish across the bat symbol. It's nice and shiny. And those weird little angles that are coming down here, I'm not really familiar with it, what this came from. Um, but there is some major issues with the paint on this. Really bad. Really bad sculpting on this belt. That's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> there's really bad fill-in work up here. This is awful. Um, let's see if we can get in closer. Pretty bad fill-in work there. Where the cowl is. You see how sloppy that is? Pretty stinky. Uh, I've seen a lot better. This belt is like crazy sloppy. Not good at all. There's nice... I, I just... I don't know. I want to like it because I like the figure itself, but it's pretty poorly done, I'd say, like with the paint. Um, that cape's looking pretty cool. The cape's nice. The cowl's nice. The design. Incredibly sloppy work on the paint. Um, I mean, you can see, like, just sloppy, out of the line stuff. I mean, just, like, gooped on pretty pretty bad, in my opinion. <laughs> this is pretty sneaky. Uh, I think there's, like, a little paint chip up there. I mean,. I don't like to get too picky with these things, but there's some pretty obvious uh, sneaker marks on it. So there's the lower portion. Boots are looking pretty shiny and cool. Um, I don't know. Let me swing it around here and I'll show you the god awful parts of it. There's some lines that are kind of bad there. Cape's looking pretty good. I do like the, the way the cape flows. It's, it's nice. I dig that. But man, look at the back there. Man, they screwed the pooch on that pretty hard. I mean, he just looks like, I don't know, like a giant ostrich or something took a dump on his boot. I'm not sure. Looks weird. It's really poorly done. Not sure if that's just they get sloppy not giving a damn. Right, here's a close-up of the cow here. I, I like the design, but you can see all these horrible imperfections where the where the cow meets the body. Just very thick paint, just sloppy, just sloppy work here. Even the face paint looks a little weird to me. I don't know what it is. I dig the design of it. I like the cow. I like the, how the ears kind of flare back a little bit, but the, some poor paint. Like, this is a really bad example. This could totally turn somebody off from buying any further Batman black and white statues, and that might be where I'm 
heading. Got a good collection of them, I like them, but this is just so bad. Poorly painted. Ugh. That stinks, DC. Really stinks. Well, that was a quick look at, uh, and a very disappointed look and review at this uh, Batman Black and White statue by Amanda Connor. I was actually looking forward to this because I kind of like the design, the simplicity of it. Um, but, and he's got good height, but man, it's a really poorly painted statue. So, for anybody who's curious about the statue land, I would probably not recommend it based on the fact that, hold up, sip! That goes out to Harvard then. Uh, based on this paint job, I mean, You've probably seen some of these reviews I do. I hope you've seen them, because I like statues big and small, giant, small, little guys, Batman, black and whites are kind of my, my thing. And uh, this is poorly done, poorly executed. So I would definitely need to see this in the store if I were you. I would definitely want to see it out of the box, inspect it. So that stinks. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Atari Stir Fry. Remember, Magnitude was right.